Hi, I'm Rachel Eden, and this is Four Ways to Improve the Peace in Your Home. <laughs> we are up to way number three, being open to moving on. Be open to moving on. What does it mean to be open to moving on? Sari Ocheved Riggler, who does a workshop called The Kesher Wife, talks about a parable. If you were offered free ticket to dangerous location in Egypt, would you want to go to Egypt? You get to stay for free in a hotel rated one star that's really dirty and in a horrible neighborhood. You are fully justified to be angry and upset. You might have justifiably been upset because someone did something wrong. But why stay in a place that you don't like even though it's your right and privilege to stay there? Let's say you're in a huge fight with the person you're in a relationship with. choice. Do we want to stay in this fight or do we want to opt out? The Talmud teaches us that a person who is angry opens themselves up to all sorts of demons. Even Moses, the greatest prophet who ever lived, opened himself up to being spiritually compromised when he showed anger, even justifiable anger. So that was part three, being open to moving on. I hope that helped and I hope that we're able to all move on when we're in a negative place so that we can focus on the positive. See you next time. If you missed parts one and two, click on the link below. Your face. You leave your room. <laughs> Go. <laughs> it's not working. This is a list from 10 years ago of pros and cons about my husband that I made up after our second date. And I'm not going to go through this list and read to you everything I wrote, but I will say it's right on the money after two dates. Right on the money. No, look angry. No, look angry. Right on it. I got it. Okay, and now gesticulate. No, while you're talking. Go away! What were you You go out! I said this right now! You're in the room! You're out of